So I took a chance checking these shoes out online. I couldn't tell if these boots were a high top or a low top. And I saw different versions of these boots and they were a lighter pair and I couldn't tell if uh, this pair was truly black as a picture as seen on the screen and I couldn't tell if they were high top and they didn't have a model putting their foot inside the shoe so there was really no way to tell how high these boots were and there were no reviews online or on YouTube showing like these boots in action so I took a chance and I had to order a size lower than my original size because all the other sizes were bought out. My original size was bought out. These shoes sold out within two weeks. And they popped up right at the end of December. In the middle of December was when these shoes like came in and just came out within one month. So I'm doing a review on this and you'll know how these shoes went. This is a review on the Roan Buff Boots. This is probably the first review anyone will ever see of these boots. Have you seen anything else on YouTube or any other site like uh, Videovox being a review on these boots? You've seen the pictures and uh, there's just nothing out there on these boots. So this is a, a review on the Roan Buff Boots. This isn't a professional review. Uh, you're gonna, if you're looking for a professional review, this is the wrong place, so go ahead and take off. However, those that just wanna see what the Ron Buff boots look like, this is a black version of the Ron Buff boots. And before I do a review, I just want to uh, say that I was never like a boots person until I started reading the comics until I started reading, um, you know, DC Street Fighter comics and seeing like cool characters wear these like parka jackets, military parka jackets. And then um, I've seen uh, in a comic book, uh, Akira, if you know that anime, he was like all jacked up and shit. And then he had like a huge torn up parka jacket and some tore up boots and he was just looking down. That shit was badass. And then. I just wanted to look cool. Like I didn't want to wear all that camel stuff that everyone's wearing. And plus, they don't make that many boots uh, boots that go above like the calf for guys. They just make them straight for females, even though they never, you know, back in World War Two and One, we were wearing that shit. But now they get all the cool parka jackets and all the long boots, and then we get the short half cut boot one the and stuff and the timbers. All right, here we go. Well, open up. This is what you uh, see inside the Rome box. It says uh, Rome begins in the heart of Kansas, and if you buy any other products, you'll be greeted with this right here. So that's that, and we get our first look of the black version of the Rome Buff Boots. Okay, let's get this out. So when I saw these on the picture before I bought them, I was I, I couldn't tell if they were like high top boots or if they were just the half version wannabe boots and shit like that. So I was really happy to see that they actually went far up close to the calf instead of just the shoe version and shit like they keep like giving us. So it has these uh, middle clings right here, which was it was pretty cool. I normally don't like these, but the way they did it. It matches the color this time. It doesn't stand out like like a sore thumb, and it goes in like it's part of like actually part of like the shoe. And then you can see like the the holes right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, the holes of like this thing. Then uh, you see the Ron wear right here. You're gonna get that when you buy their products. It has a zipper right here. I never really care for these zippers. Of course, I said this in all these videos. So I never really cared, but with these shoes. Like, I put it on, I put the zipper on, and then I put it down, and it kind of felt good, you know? Like, I, I would, like, leave it, let me show you. I would leave it, like, half zip like that, and it would feel even more comfortable. But the moment I opened these and I smelled them, they, they are straight leather. 
complete leather and I talked to like my um my auntie and she's like yeah these are straight leather they will last like a long time and she used to be in the military then you see the the white um stitches right here in between you see the R for the, the logo of the company I'm glad like it was a dark R and it make it look white or super light or red so people could notice it I'm glad they just ditched it in so if you want to see it if you want to know like it's just right there so it's not like blah, you know super exposed like a huge Nike sign it just has a nice R right there so that's pretty cool I try not to represent like companies a lot because I don't want like stuff on my things I just want to look plain. And then they have like a, how's right? Oh, the bottom. Yeah, that's right. The bottom. And the bottom has a, the Ron right here. They actually show like the full thing on the bottom instead of the R. And it looks just like any other, the Timbers. Yeah, that's right. Like any other Timber and just regular boots. It just has these Ninja stars right here. It's just a simple uh, rubber right here. I hope it doesn't wear out that much. You can easily scratch it. See? But I hope it doesn't wear out. And then uh, you can see um, the middle nails where they used to bolt it in. Here's the back again. Detail. You have this thing right here uh, where it comes out. Right there is pretty neat. You can see like a little space right there. Pretty neat. So I'm going to show you the inside of these shoes now. Yeah, and the zipper, like, uh, see, this is all leather right here. Pretty neat. Neat design. And then they have a soft spot right here. Um, these are the... These are like, these are, they said, um, she said this, these are the um, different, these are the same flight deck versions, I believe, that she, the military called them, the flight deck boots, right? This is, this is like, a, they spend it off of those shoes, but then the difference is like this uh, soft thing right here and the color of the boots, they're brown. So the inside, let's open these. Let's take a look in the inside. And uh, I'm sorry about uh, how I'm doing this review, but this is how I do it, you know, I'm not experienced. I'm just showing these shoes because no one else will. Um, the shoes, they feel more comfortable than the J75 Strongs, definitely. The problem I had with these shoes were um, I ordered like a size a little too small because I couldn't get the bigger size because they sold out so quick, so I just got as much as I, the, the size I could, just as fast, so I could get it. And if they were to fit me perfectly, like if I would have got the, focus, focus, there we go. If I would have got the um, size that actually fit me, which were size 11, it would have fit me like perfectly. It would have been super comfortable. So if you get the proper size of these boots, they're gonna feel comfortable. They won't feel like all, freaking hard and stuff and your feet will have to grow in there they do feel more comfortable than uh the freaking uh j five strong boots which were pretty tough and i had to like wear them all the time until eventually uh they felt comfortable because my feet broke into them all right and then you'll see like the the rough right there that's what it looks like pretty nice and it smells straight like leather too. And then like you have the leather part right here. So they let this part be leather and then they let that inside uh, be black leather. These boots right here are pretty awesome. I love them. I would have bought a second pair if I could. But eventually, um, they sold out super quick within one week. Within one week, there was only a size nine, and no one's buying a size nine. The size elevens and size twelve sell out quicker than anything else, and ten and a halfs. So, if you want to get something and you see a size twelve and ten, if you really like it, get it. It's a quick another look.
<clears throat> just a quick another look at the wrong buff boots from a different angle. Looking up. Uh-huh. Get that view going, the down view. Overall, these boots turned out very great. I enjoyed them. I was lucky to get a pair. Uh, the only problem I had were the zip pullers. The zip pullers are designed as two separate zip pullers combined into one. So for some reason, um, it makes this loud coin sound when I walk. So it sounds like I'm walking with change inside my boot. So I would have to tape them down to my boot or I would have to tie them to the boot so they wouldn't slap around and make a loud sound. And uh, it's so loud, uh, dogs can hear you from 20 feet away and start barking. So it's loud and it's annoying. And uh, that's one thing I would recommend that they fix. Don't make them two separate zip pullers. Just make it one regular zip puller like all the other boots and that's it. I give these shoes a seven out of eight. They're very great. They're heavy boots. Um, they look pretty decent. Uh, they're not over the top like uh, fashioned. And it's, it's just a really good boot. I really do recommend these. Uh, this is Heavenly Abyss.